You're amazing. And okay, <laughs> so we're going to go to something a little lighter. Okay. I hope I won't make you cry no okay. more. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so it's a quick fire round, Julie. Okay. So ask you a real quick question, mm -hmm. and um, you don't have time to think. First thing that comes to mind. Okay. So no thinking. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll, try just, not, I'll try not to cuss. You can you cuss, cuss if you want. We'll just bleep you out. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't curse like that, but sometimes, <laughs> if I'm not hormone balanced. <laughs> oh. What's your superpower? Kindness. Describe yourself in three words. Three words. Fun, sexy, intelligent. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to digress here for a second. Uh -huh. My husband is not on socials at all. I don't even remember how this happened. But there was a video you posted of yourself opening with the pizza guy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you how many wins. times this dude, this brother wanted to see that video. Somebody, he no, <laughs> never normally, like, he doesn't even care about socials, whatever. He's just like, can, can, can I see that oh. video again? <laughs> that thing was funny. And that was stepping out of my comfort zone. But that's okay. So they gave me the long, just so you, just for context, they gave me this, this, this costume for Caravana, Jamal Glor Foundation. Shout out to Jamal Maglore. So he's like, you're, he's Trinidad. He's like, you're gonna, you wanna play mass? You wanna play mass? I'm like, you're gonna give me the costume because I've never played mass. And them costumes are like $1,200. So if you're going to pay for the costume, I'll play it. Back. Yes, I'll get the costume. Oh, boy. So here I am going to be walking the street in my panty. Me, who's confident. I'm a queen. Uh, oh, yeah. Now it's time to walk the street in your panty. Lord have mercy. So I had on the costume, did my fitting. Pizza man came. Didn't have time to take off the costume. So my stylist was there. She's like, are you, are you going to go into the door in your costume? I said, what am I supposed to do? Take off the costume? I have no time to take off the costume. The rest is history. What did he say? That's why, because he's, That's he my said, I, I bet guy. he's never been greeted like that before. <laughs> like, he's standing there with the pizza boxes like. <laughs> what did he say? He, he was a good sport. You know, he's delivered to me before. The funniest part, a lot of my friends are like, I've ne I'll never look at a debit machine the same. Because I was like twerking down, to the, trying to put the, uh, put the code in. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Oh, Julie. Okay. When you hear the word successful, who's the first person who comes to mind? Jesus. Like, um, Jeff, he said, don't think. No, that's yeah. good. That's, yes. Mm -hmm. Favorite book? Hmm. I know I'm not supposed to think about that when I have so many. Though. Favorite book was the first book that comes to mind. Four Agreements. Mm. Don Miguel Ruiz. Mm, I love that. I ref I, I, that's something I always refer back to. Mm -hmm. So I'll say that's the favorite. Especially for me, it's the one that don't take anything don't personally. Take anything it ain't about you. Ooh, <laughs> that one? <laughs> Lord of mercy. Not even, not even a compliment. Mm. That part hit me. Because mm. I can tell you, they girl, you're selective. Right. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah, go ahead. Shout out to Don Ruiz. Hey, Don Miguel, you Ruiz. Yeah. Favorite gift to give? Uh, favorite um, comforters, like blankets. Hmm. So a, there's these plush, <laughs> this doesn't sound ghetto, but every Christmas, Costco comes out with these real plush, the blankets. The blankets. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I gave, I said, you know, I'm going to do a different, do it different this year. My family I gave them the blankets, pillow, like a sleep kit. Because sleep, like sleep's so important. And we don't spend time, like I actually changed my mattress change my lights. Like, I'm like, I need to invest in my sleep. Right? And if you think how many hours you're in your bed, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And these little comforters, man, these blankets, girl, I sleep like a groundhog. Sometimes I can't use it because I won't be able to wake. <laughs> yeah. Favorite gift to receive? Favorite gift? Candles. Mm. Love a candle. Okay. So people say, oh, so, you have everything. I'm just, some of my, some of my friends so ghetto. So listen, stop saying I have everything. You're just being super cheap and you're being lazy. 
I love, if you observe your friends, observe your people, you'll know what they like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, nice I know what candle. to get, what nice to get you Aveda then. Aveda shampoo, <laughs> to be exact. I have it on film. So. <laughs> Favorite, what do you love about where you live? Oh my gosh, like where I actually live, it like my condo. It could be either the actual place where you live or it could be the city you live, whatever. You choose. Well, I love my community. It. I love Markham. I give me, I'm keeping it all the way real. Like I moved from Jane Finch community to Markham and 13 years ago and to watch the city grow and develop and to actually watch my Asian neighbors, like meaning my neighborhood neighbors are like become more act like neighbor friendly and them actually break out of their comfort zones. You know, some, some Asian communities, there are very like, to, you know, to the point and back and not much laughter and not much to see the generations and the grandmothers and it's just grandfathers. It's amazing to, to observe a culture outside of your own grow yeah. and develop and change and channel. Yeah. So I love that. And I love, I sold my house. I got a message from God. I'm telling you, the message was this. Downsize your living, upsize your life. I kept hearing it. I kept hearing this, downsize your living, upsize your life. And I had this house, and the house was a sizable house, and I was by myself. My relationship ended, but it was my house. I bought the house. And I'm looking around, and I realize I bought the house that size with a poverty mindset. Because my fear was, if any of my family members fall on hard times, they'll move in with me. If I need to take in my parents... But then year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, year six, year seven, year ten, ain't nobody falling on no hard times. I'm there cooling this big house, heating this big house. And he's using one room, right? Like literally got a bed from the bathroom and the kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> that equals condo. Okay, that equals no more snow to blow mm-hmm. or to hire the people. I mean, you don't know if you're going to get snowfalls for that year and grass to cut. So... Sold my house, bought a condo, and I love my concierge, Michael and Mutu and Ali. Like, I know these people. Rainbow and like Samuel. They family, right? They become yeah. like family, really. They take it in my yeah. mail and all that. And yeah, it's good. Now, you're super stylish. And do you just wear, like, fabulous things? What's your favorite item of clothing? Or when do you feel most Julie Black? Uh, I feel most Julie Black when my niece, who's my stylist, when she dresses me. And I, I had another stylist for about 12 years. And um, then that, that, that business relationship ended. And I was kind of like, and it was again in and around a couple of years before my mom got sick. But I was in a space where I was like, I don't want to just put on someone to put on clothes on me without checking like where I am, who I am, how am I feeling on that day? What is my, what's, what comes out of my pores? You know, and Chantal, you know, they need a new word for niece though. Cause I think niece sounds like you're 15. <laughs> So like like maybe like I should say like my grown up niece. Right. Um, her company's called Sharon Angela Style, and her mom, my sister, passed away when she was a baby, and her mom was fashionista, like next level fashion style. Okay, and it's just like it was just in the bloodline, and her style is unreal. And so, yeah, it's amazing. Like I'm and I'm I'm shouting her out is like she also does something she did with Enkechi too called um, a millionaire mindset. And it's a, how, how you, as a millionaire, you don't want to think about your clothes. Let's do the consultation and have, have, her, have her know more about your personality. Mm-hmm. And then every season, winter, spring, summer, fall, mm-hmm. she'll come, she'll edit your co- closet, make sure there's key pieces. So it's not always a reshop and put looks together for you. She takes, she does it, she does it on a graphic design, sends you the stuff. So there's airport swag, travel swag, Home, so like everything is a swag. Grocery store swag. It doesn't break the bank, you know, and you could you could flip it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's something gr- to think about. Like, is this like grocery store swag? Oh, gro- <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's true. I'm like, I just roll into the grocery store. You'd be surprised, store. though, when it's like, okay, well, it's a, it's a Lulu sweats, but then it's like a $5 flip flop. But it's, you know what I mean? But you still always got You look your, cute. You look cute. <laughs> You look cute. You but see, I cute. feel like you got to look cute because you know, like, how many times do randoms come up to you and be like, "Oh my God, it's gonna work." Whereas yeah. for me, it's like, no, no one cares. No, you be so, no, everyone cares. <laughs> everyone cares, and I don't do it for the people. I, you know, I do it for me. I mean, but now everyone taking selfies, 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 selfies. <laughs> one day I went to Shoppers Drug Mart. True story. And I had I looked like the Unabomber without the beard. Okay, look crazy, hoodie and all that. And I see somebody, two people going into the, the aisle, going like this. 
So this picture shows up on Twitter. <laughs> look like I'm talking. I, I look crazy. <laughs> Julie Black is <laughs> no, on I look hard crazy. times or something like Woody, that. <laughs> I look a little bit homeless, a little bit drunk, a little bit, a little bit Unabomber, a little bit, all of the little bits. <laughs> I was like, okay. Chantal, let's Gotta go. switch that up. I told you. I did you. <laughs> Julie, what's your favorite time of day and why? Mm, favorite time of day. This is going to be bad, but probably around 10, 11 at night. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm, my day's ended. I usually have skinny pop in the bed with popcorn. And I'm reading a chapter of something. And I have my sage diffuser on. And it's just like heaven. Oh, that sounds like gotta heaven, have the actually. popcorn. Skinny pop. Skinny pop. It, does, is it flavored? Or it's, it's just, just it's regular flavor, but it's so good. Really? So yummy. Skinny pop. Especially when I'm not hormone balanced. <laughs> <laughs> Do you name two people you'd like to have dinner with and why? Dead or alive, or does it matter? Whatever you want. Two people I'd like to have dinner with God. Mm hmm. Love to have dinner with God. Can you like, that conversation? Right. <laughs> Come on. That's, yeah. And he knows all things. Mm. You know, so I still, I don't do all that psychic stuff. But yeah, God. I like to sit down with God. And um, I think I'd like to sit down with Bob Marley. If I could bring him back. Mm. And just, you know, especially there was so much connecting that he did. Yeah. And yeah. his story of leaving it's Jamaica so and Germany and the cancer and... The, you know, the Do you know, he you know? Um, performed, he was the headliner when my country gained independence. He came, he actually sang a song called Zimbabwe. Stop it. Yeah, he came and Come performed on. live. He, when we See got that? our independence, he was. Could performed. you imagine? Yeah. yeah. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. All right. Favorite meal or thing to eat other than Skinny Pop? Right. Uh, my mom's stew peas and rice. Mm. My siblings have figured out how to make it exactly like her. And it's comfort. It's healthy and comfort. The way my family makes it, it's yeah. super healthy and it's comfortable. What can't you get through the day without? Huh. I mean, it sounds crazy, but water. I drink a gallon a day, like water. I Shows drink 16. Like thank you. 16 <laughs> cups. 16 <laughs> cups a day. It's also for my vocal cords. What's the screensaver on your phone? My mom. My mom and I. Selfie. Oh. Yeah. Favorite app? Favorite app? Do I have a favorite app? That's not hard. A favorite a ways? Maybe ways? What does that do? That's a that's the GPS thing. Oh. It tells you when there's potholes, when there's police. Police reported ahead. <laughs> oh, used, that's why you cook the yeah, police part. <laughs> listen, I I just came. I just got a my records just clean now. I ended up. I had maybe like one point left. It was so bad. <laughs> Insurance was nine hundred dollars. My insurance for like three years. It was terrible. Didn't have ways back then. I can see why that's an Didn't important nap for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I okay. don't speed anymore. I, I drive like a granny now. <laughs> Police reported. They're going to charge me for driving too slow. <laughs> Other than your phone and your purse or your wallet, what else do you carry with you all the time? So I carry with me all the time um, essential oils like Rollies. Mm. Rolly balls, I have a bunch of those. What's your favorite like one? Like all the time, stress release from Sage. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, I like the Sage product. Yeah. I actually really like their, their, I have their diffusers like everywhere Going in my everywhere, house. Yeah. My husband's like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Essential oils, I would say. Yeah. So you've traveled a lot, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot, been to a lot of countries, a lot of different places. Of all the places you've been, what's your favorite? Different reasons. I mean, I'm Jama of Jamaican descent, but I like going home. I like going to Jamaica for sure, and um, the food. Eh. But as far as outside of my culture, I would say the experience I had in Bangladesh was really it. Really, it changed me a lot. It really helped me understand that I was um, that I focus on a lot of first world problems, mm -hmm. and uh, to know that. You know, because I went to the shanty towns and I was with some very, very, I was with the government. It was very, very wealthy when I was also with, with you know, the people who were, were less privileged. Mm -hmm. And I remember there was one experience where we went to dinner with some government officials and they asked us not to look at the, the help in the face. Don't make any eye contact. 
don't acknowledge them, don't say hello. Wow. They have to keep their heads down. Oh. And it broke my heart. And I'm like, this is where the rebel in me. This is where I'm just like my mom. So they're serving the food and they're you know, this. And I put my head down on the table. I was like, <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Right underneath, right underneath. <laughs> and one lady, she gave a little smirk, you know, and I, that's where a lot of my boldness started to really rise up in me. I was like, you know, I'm not going back there. I said, uh uh-uh. uh, take me to the shanties. Yeah. Don't take me to that. I don't need that. Uh uh-uh. uh. So that experience. And then I, I, when I got there, though, I, was, I said, I'm going to go on a special K bar diet. I was there for three weeks. I said, I'm only eating special K bars three a day. Mm. That's my ignorance, you know. Mm. I never had their cuisine. I'm a foodie. Mm. It's a little bit of diva. Mm-hmm. I said, plus, I'll just come back skinny. Okay? Girl, three days of special K bars. I couldn't <laughs> handle it. I was like, right, let me just have a little bit, a little chana or something. You know? <laughs> anyway, fell in love with the food, of course. <laughs> then my bags of special K bars. I'm outside the hotel, and there's rickshaw drivers and stuff. I'm giving them special K bars. I'm giving it out. It's like Santa Claus. Before you know it, I had a lineup of people. <laughs> For special K bars. And just to watch them, though, open the bar and taste the sugar, like, like it was like, no, like, it was a whole other thing. It was a whole other thing. I was like, wow. Yeah. So it was, I, the, the lessons were just unreal. Yeah. 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 Okay, this is an interesting question to ask mm. you, Miss mm. Julie Black. If you had a theme song for your life, what song would it be? Uh, Jefferson's Move It On Up. <laughs> got a piece of the pie. <laughs> what's, what's your worst habit? Skinny pop. Skinny pop, yeah. Skinny pop. They need to sponsor you. That's bad. They it's need bad. to sponsor it's like, you. It's like skinny what do you pop, wish you had pop. more, what do you wish you had more of in your life? Companionship. I'm ready for a relationship. I want marriage. I want child. Child, I'm saying it's singular. Singular. Child, I have the dog. One child, one dog, I have the dog. I want child. I want marriage. Yeah, I want that. And I've held off for that reason. I don't want to, I want to do it traditionally. So, yeah. What's a question that you wish people would ask you or that you wish I had asked you today? Um, Well, you've asked me so many amazing questions, but learning from my mom's passing is simply, how are you today? How are you today? Add the today to it. Because the broad stroke of how are you, that's just, that's just filler. It's trivial. But how are you today makes me have to think about my day. How am I actually? Well, you know, today, yeah, today I'm, I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling, I can actually give an honest answer. Mm. Most people are, how are you? I'm good. I'm fine. fine. There you go. Yeah, fine. Meanwhile. F, F, F word, right? right. <laughs> Meanwhile. Mm. And you know what's so interesting mm-hmm. is you say that, and I, I'm sure... These guys would attest to this. Mm. That is the answer I get most often, that people say, I just want people to actually ask me how I really am. Yeah. Not just ask me to, you know, as a pleasantry. Totally. But really, how are you? Yeah. And how are you? Oh, I'm phen- today? Yes. Today I'm phenomenal. My family's here. My family's, we haven't been together since the funeral oh. in 20, 2017, December. So my family's coming up. We're having a big Thanksgiving. You know, I want to date this in case you're going to air it another time. So we're going to, they're coming up, having dinner. It's going to be great. You yeah. live near me, so I, I just be dropping by with my little, like, Tupperware. Come to our Sunday. <laughs> I, I got the party room for a reason. This time I'm like, y'all are going to come mess up the condo. We're going to get the party room. <laughs> and leave the party room. Julie, yeah. it has been truly such a joy. I, Thank you. I'm so grateful for that moment where we we met each other quite by chance in the lineup, in the waiting, lineup, right? <laughs> but, but, but was it? It's all divine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, f- I feel like that. I feel like it was. It where makes can... me think how many other people are so close but yet so far. so far. So I think that's the that's the vibration to put out there. Like connect me with more who are like. It literally took me nine minutes to get here. Literally, all you right, know. Then. Yeah. I, I, so I know where I'm up. going on uh, Sunday. Uh, <laughs> Here's what I'd love to ask you as our community. So I want to know from you, 
who do you want me to have on the show? Who would you like me to interview? Who are some of the amazing women whose stories you would like for us to share on this platform? If you have any fantastic ideas and even better, if you can connect me with them, please comment, leave your comment or DM me and tell me who are some incredible stories I should be sharing on this platform. And the other ask that I have of you is for you to subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, we're on Instagram and Facebook, and share. Please share. If you find any of our interviews inspiring, please share them with your friends and family. 